Hi, Ariam. Hi. Hope you are very well. And thank you for coming to this talk today. Well, let's talk a little bit about yourself, who you are. I'm, uh, my name is Arya Huber. Uh, I have about 35 years of experience or more even experience in uh, high technology businesses and management of all types. Actually, in the last uh, 15 years, I am basically in life science uh, products, uh, mostly uh, startups in development stages and uh, with uh, uh, the way to uh, take a startup from the beginning, to have the IPs, to develop, uh, to push it into the uh, market, to raise money, etc. Thank you, Ari. Uh, can we talk a bit about your business, Asmedic? What yeah. is about Asmedic? Asmedic, here is uh, the inhaler, with our first inhaler, which is reusable inhaler, which actually uh, is the patient is a personalized one. The patient excel into here, his measure is airway obstruction, and then adjust, it adjusts the right drug dosage to take the right uh, dosage every time, mo mostly morning and evening of this, uh, which is steroids in many cases, uh, this treatment, daily treatment. This inhaler includes in inside, it's controlled by sensor and controlled by some data. It, inside you have also the measurement system and also as well as the inhalation system on the same device. It includes, this is reusable. Here you say as a canister, which is a kind of a capsule, which is disposable. Therefore, this is, will be reusable and you buy it uh, once, uh, one and a half years or two years, and we'll change this disposable every time the drug is uh, uh, finished. So this one will be much uh, le uh, significantly less prices than the inhalers of today that you change mostly every month by, can be even by 70 to 80% less. Uh, the, the market of inhalers in the world is about $30 billion, huge market, few niches. Uh, we, we bring up some, what we call uh, kind of a digital uh, inhaler with few advantages. One of the advantages is it's a medical, we, we adjust the dosage according to the oil of structure of suction in any given time. And also there are uh, economic advantage of uh, lower prices to the patient. Uh, also, in addition, by the way, the inhaler here will uh, store the data, the daily data of error obstruction of the patient. Thank you, Arya. Uh, mm -hmm. So the business model can be selling not one off because one two three years time and maybe the main body has to be changed but let's say the is the disposable where you can get most of the revenue okay sell because that's one off using anytime maybe you need to change every day or any few days yeah yeah, yeah. am i right no the, the, the canister basically basically the drug will be replaced like today the inhalers as we 20, 30, 40 days. Depends on the on the amount of the of the dosage okay. here, of the drug. But uh, I believe it will be enough for more than 20 days in average. Average. It, it, it depends on the specific patients uh, how much he consume every day of, of the drug. So let's say one per month, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, uh, what about the technology? Uh, what is exactly technology behind where the IP uh, is if you own all the IP? And also, where is the company based? The company is based in, uh, in Israel. And also, all the, the main team is in Israel. <clears throat> 
uh, we, the, 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 the basic technology is uh, few. One of them is we have here a new canister uh, that come inside, which is IP. We have the integration between few components inside, also the integration to the engine that going inside. The whole idea, the whole concept it is IP by itself. And also part of the, uh, you know, part of the components inside are IP by themselves. Okay, all belongs to Asmatic, right? Right. You develop everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, mm, uh, let's move a little bit to the model. Uh, where are your main markets where you want to sell? And what can be, for, exa for example, a target price for selling your device? And yes, let's start with this too. Okay, I'll, I'll start from the, from the target price, okay? We believe that uh, this reusable one will be sold in about $50, give and take. The, the disposable canister should be something like $3 around, no more. And the markets are in actually worldwide. Every, everywhere you can find asthma and COPD patients can be the main market it is uh, US, Europe, and China, of course, but also some markets in Japan, South, South America, and the Far East. Okay. Uh, what about the model? Uh, are you going to sell B2B? Are you going straight to consumers, uh, straight to the ultimate user, right? The one who actually use? Is going to be B2B or B2C? Most likely, we will uh, join some strategic partner, a big one of the big pharmaceutical partners that they have the, all the marketing channels. But we may also, in certain regions, to join some big dis distributors that they, ha they have approach to the, their own specific uh, market in a specific region. So it may be mixed of a few models. We, we are working on the, this plane also these days. Okay. Uh, what about the regulation? I mean, uh, that's a medical device, so it has to be under regulation. And how are you going to deal with the regulations? Because any market has the proper regulators, right? Europe, Asia, America, and UK. And they can be even quite different. Yeah, yeah, we are going to yeah we are going to apply most likely first to the FDA in the US. We have some uh, we got some uh, regulation uh, regulatory uh, strategy about how it will be working in the US. So most likely we're going to start there, but we may also start in in Europe. Uh, the regulation most likely will uh, need a uh, couple of uh, hundreds, at least hundreds of patients for clinical trials. Uh, the, in the strategy, we got uh, some range of between 300 to 3,000, but we believe that it will be around 1,000. We have, we have some few methods how to, to measure the, the dosage of the drug in the inhaler. There is kind of scintography a way to scan it and to measure it. So we have a few methods how to do it and to, to make the trials. I mean, uh, I suppose, I'm, I'm completely sure, your, your is a smart device, okay? So you are collecting data. Uh, are you going to use your data? Oh, the data will just, uh, just as it will be here on a monthly basis, a, a daily basis, but can can get get it. You can extract it on monthly basis for the and for the medical doctor. He can uh, use it for it for himself. Are you going to partner with I don't know, medical centers? So are you giving you are you giving to third parties 
for medical purposes or research purposes uh, your data? We may consider that it's, it's not our main, you know, our main business or our main goal. So we'll consider that in the next future. Okay. Uh, how much are you raising? I, I'm going to raise now between uh, three and a half to five million dollars. Mainly, one million of that will go to conclude this. To, to, to this is a prototype, a good prototype. We may test, but we, are, we prefer to do a little bit more commercial versions. And we have another another type of uh, another version of the of inhaler, which is more manually, which is nice by itself. And we'd like to to conclude them and to, to do them more commercial commercially uh, uh, available. And uh, this will take up to one million dollars. The rest, two or three million dollars, will be for the regulation and all the clinical trials. To, and to uh, penetrate the market. So let's say you raise 3.5 million. The first million goes to testing the prototype, yeah. improving the prototype and the technology. The second, two, three million will go to regulation and go to market. How, how long does it take you're going to market? If you get the money in September, for example, uh, if, if you go to market in two years' time, and who is going to produce your devices? Okay. Uh, we believe that we need two and a half, maximum two and a half years to go to be in the market. The production will be done either by a strategic partner or by some subcontractors or combination of this. Okay. Okay. What's your exit strategy? Uh, where do you see your company in five years' time and yourself? Well, I, I see the company in about uh, six, seven, eight years as a leading in this kind of a new concept for, for asthma uh, treatment, daily, ice, uh, daily treatment with more respiratory uh, products also for some other applications like, or diseases like Corona, et cetera. The company, have, the company has a potential of turnover in the next, let's say 10 years ahead, at least $100 million turnover. Okay. I mean, mm, can be a very good turnover, no? Isn't it? What? <laughs> can be. Can be a very good to know at this one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think we have been covering quite well all main aspects of your technology and your company. I mean, let's close it this way. Why investors should invest in Asmetic? Yeah. First, this this is. Uh, this address this product, this company address very strong and huge market, which has to do with respiratory and delivery system in general. This is a huge market and the, there are very few uh, new products as a competition to the present uh, inhalers. One of the niches, uh, what we call uh, digital inhalers, will dom be dominant in the market in the next few years, we believe. But also very important uh, delivery systems for some other diseases like for Corona, even the Corona, which has to do also with the lungs, will be based on few of our technologies and concepts. Okay. Thank you, Adam. I think um, we had a very nice conversation and I do hope and I wish you all the best for your fundraising and for the future of yourself or your company. And hope I can see you in Israel as soon as I come. I can't wait to come back to Israel. I hope, in October. I hope in October. Thank you very much, Adi, and good luck again. Bye-bye. Okay,